Hi, this is Lee Amos with Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast. Today I'm out on Pine Island Preserve with a team of volunteers from the Calusa Land Trust and the Conservation Foundation, and we're collecting longleaf pine cones. A longleaf pine produces a cone that looks like this. We're picking them green, and we're going to ripen them on the shelf, so to speak. This will open up, and lots of seeds will come out that we'll send to a native plant nursery to propagate and bring those trees back to Pine Island. I wanted to take this quick video to show you a longleaf pine that's starting to emerge from the grass stage. If you go back, you can watch a video where I describe the grass stage of a longleaf and how it's an adaptation to frequent fires. And this tree has now saved up enough energy in its roots and it's ready to grow quickly and escape the flames that are occurring down here. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple other trees that are in what they call the candle stage because it's shaped kind of like a candelabra. Pretty cool little tree, right? So the tree we just looked at was the tree in the bottle brush stage. This tree is in the candelabra stage. And from here it's growing up high and this part of the plant with the growing tips is escaping the flames which occur down here. And this will grow up into the mature trees that we see behind us. And I want to show you something else. In this property it's really really beautiful because we still see this open sand like this and you see all of these wildflowers and grasses growing and these are really sensitive to the salt palmetto which grows up high and shades them out and covers up the sand. They need this open sand for all the, the, the little seeds to fall onto the sand and germinate. If you're not seeing this, you're not seeing wildflowers and, and reproduction. And this is really where the biodiversity happens. All of your rare, endangered, endemic, special plants occur here. And this is where all the food is for gopher tortoise, for pollinators, go on and on and on. Here's the diversity, here's the life. If you have thick saw palmetto, there's not a lot of life there. Uh, so this is great to see. Most of these have gone to seed, um, so we're not seeing a lot of flowers, but here is a, a little sebacea flower still in bloom. And so it's just a beautiful property, a really rare piece of fragment of uh, longleaf pine flatwoods here on Pine Island. We, we want to protect these areas, we want to propagate the trees, and we're doing our best. Please, if you haven't done so already, visit our website, conservationfoundation.com, like us on Facebook, Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, or visit our Instagram page, Conservation Foundation GC. There you can learn more about longleaf pine, watch our other videos, and you can learn about how we save land and how you can help.